Hello, before we get into the LA vlog part of the video, I just wanted to have an intro because I don't even think I introed anything when I was in LA. I was kind of just randomly vlogging, but I'm back home now. So it has been a crazy few days. We've had some family stuff going on and I'm just <laughs> in a weird state, but I'm feeling a lot better today. Like I just woke up, you know when the expression says you woke up on the right side of the bed? That was me today. I just woke up in a better mood and things are okay ish going on but it's okay i'm thinking positively so yeah that's kind of where my mind is at i feel like this time of year brings out a lot of emotions for people either things can happen or you start to feel more lonely if you're in a state of loneliness and it could be a beautiful time but also a really stressful time so it's just a lot of emotions going around everywhere and if you're in that phase right now where you're just feeling a lot Allow yourself to feel it because it is normal and we all feel it, including people online. Even if you don't see it, I promise you, everyone's going through something and it's just nice to know that we're not alone. Regardless, I hope you're having a fine holiday season. If not, I hope you're doing things to treat yourself or to help give you some sort of peace internally because I know it can be a really hard time of year. So yeah, the reason why we went to LA is because it was my management's holiday Christmas party and I have not seen them literally since 2018 in person. Everything is usually like over the phone, on Zoom, whatever. So, and some of them I haven't even met before, like at all in person, because obviously teams change, they grow. And so it's just been really nice to go and see them and like have lunch with them. And my sister and I definitely spoke about a lot more stuff on our podcast. So if you want to listen to our whole entire trip, then definitely go listen, but you can see most of the visuals here so and before i get into that i just wanted to say a big thank you to scarlet blue for sponsoring this portion of the video i brought a lot of these on my trip with me and so one of the dresses i wore in la that i wore to the holiday party i got a lot of questions about like what i wore underneath i wore i'll show you in a second i wore this pair of underwear because they're so comfortable seamless whatever um but every single day the bras that i was wearing was all scarlet blue i love their stuff so much they're a new york city based lingerie brand and i love new york you guys know they're i'm all i'm there all the time so it's just like i love the fact that they're from there their stuff is supportive it's comfortable they have a wide variety of sizes everything is so beautiful when you go on the website it's just like sexy but nice and i'm always concerned with the lingerie thinking that like it's not going to be comfortable the main thing i did was get my bra sized so that has made the biggest difference for me because obviously going through pregnancy postpartum weight gain weight loss like everything fluctuates and then also breastfeeding and pumping like i just did not know what my size was so i measured myself i followed directions online on how to measure properly with a measuring tape and if you don't have a measuring tape that's a fabric one that can like easily go around you just use a piece of twine or string wrap it and then put it across a normal measuring tape and you'll know your sizes it makes just the biggest difference and then once you know your sizes you can actually go on the website and figure out what your size is with scarlet blue sizing because their stuff might be a little bit different like every brand is a little different my best advice is to go based off of your measurements versus just like a 36c do you know what i mean okay so I want to show you this first one because this is, I have two favorites. This one is so pretty and I wish I got Dan's reaction, but he was just like not comfortable being on camera when I was showing him this because he was like, whoa, that's, re that's really, really nice. And I don't only wear lingerie for my partner. Um, I wear it for myself because I feel sexy, but I also love the way it just looks under clothes. Like it's just so nice. And I find this even under a semi sheer white tee, like it's not very sheer, but it's just a little bit or you see a little bit of outline. I just think it's so pretty. And so this is the bra. I'm so obsessed. It has the classic three different sizes. Um, so you can measure it. It's stretchy, seamless material, really, really soft and comfortable. And then this part here, it's not fully see-through. There is a nude mesh underneath. And I find where my nipple hits, it's covered by the lace detailing, but this burnt orange and then the detail here when it sits on your chest is just so pretty. So I got a 34D 
and normally in other other places I'm a 36C so I measured myself and I went based off of their website and then I got a 34D so like I said just keep in mind that sizing might be a little bit different based off of where you're shopping so this is the top and then these are the matching bottoms which again are so beautiful I got the thong version and I just really like it I like that it's not see through here you have the lining it's nude but then on top here you could see skin and you have that same detailing on top it's so pretty um, and then for bottoms I got a size medium so this is the first set and I'll have on the screen here what it was called I also do have a discount code if you are curious I'll have all the information listed in the description along with links if you want to shop my code is just alex25 and you'll get 25% off site wide um, and there's no minimum purchase required so if you just wanted to get a bra you can just get a bra 25% off but obviously the more you get the more of a percentage you'll get taken off so my next favorite set just because it's so pretty where are the matching bottoms over here is this one okay this is definitely a lot more see-through um, I wouldn't wear this under something sheer but just on its own like I feel so sexy in this it fits me so well the actual like band underneath is not uncomfortable and then the side is still very stretchy the elastic is nice I like that the straps are adjustable but I just love the flower detailing I just feel like this gives me fairy vibes like I feel like a fairy princess in this one and then the matching bottoms again I got a thong it's just so pretty and so elegant so yeah those two are my favorites just because of the way that they look just the sexy classy vibes of them but the other ones I got I'm really happy with as well because um they're, they're, they're pretty in like different ways. So this one, for example, I love that it has little polka dots on it under here and then the lace on top gives such a nice silhouette and is just so flattering on the chest. And again, these I, all of these are the same sizes for everything, but I love the pink. I love that it's stretchy. And then the bottoms, I didn't get a thong this time. I actually got high-waisted bottoms, which I normally don't do, but this is very comfortable. So if I'm wearing anything high-waisted, jeans, pants, I'll wear this it's very lightweight very soft like everything is very soft and it's just sexy I find these really sexy even though they're high-waisted like I don't know I just really like them I feel really comfortable in them really confident and this is one of Dan's favorites so I like this one I got this balconet bra because when I was struggling with my chest in the spring I had posted a TikTok about it and I got so many comments of people saying like, if you really are lacking that support over here and you're looking for something to really hold up your chest, and if you wanna have that cleavage, if you're wearing a low cut top, but you just lost a lot of that with breastfeeding or over time with age and whatever, Balconette is a really good one. So I did get this one, it's padded. So it's different than the others. It's not see-through, but it is lace. So this is what it looks like, so pretty. The little bow here and it's just very sexy so again same size the band soft on the side seamless very stretchy and then the bottoms that i got with it i don't know if these are the matching bottoms but these, these are the ones i got thong very pretty lace really like these a lot and then i also got these black high-waisted bottoms that have lace here if i could show you on the sides which is really pretty somewhat cheeky but pretty full coverage and i got this bra which is purple really nice but the matching one with those bottoms is the black version of that purple one the black is really pretty i actually have yet to try these on because these came a bit later i ordered them afterwards but it's the same exact as the purple and then i got these two that just came in the mail with that black top and again i have yet to try them on but i just know i'm already gonna like them very soft it honestly feels very similar to this one just thong version and then the matching top for that is really nice this one is more it's more practical under a t-shirt your boobs just fit in it really well it's comfortable the lace at the back is still really soft and yeah i just like this one so i'll try this one on too and do a little try on i really like them like i said i'll have the links listed down in the description and you can use the discount code if you want a discount but thank you so much to scarlet blue for sponsoring today's video and from here on like going forward if ever you're wondering what bra or underwear i'm wearing under any of my clothes 
it's it's these i have so many now and i'm very grateful and i'm very happy because i freaking love them and they just make everything look so good underneath okay guys this is an example of what the bra looks like under a shirt this is what i was wearing in the intro of the video seamless looks so good obsessed say i'm just gonna go get into the rest of the vlog let's go to la so excited we're going to this place it's called Zinke and it's it looks kind of like a French inspired restaurant they have brunch lunch dinner um, so we're going for like a brunch time and I'm excited because the menu looks so good one thing about me is I'm gonna search up the menu beforehand and decide what I want to order because I get kind of anxious in the moment and I talk a lot so then I when the waiter comes I like I feel bad that I'm holding everyone up because I'm talking and then I like don't know what I want to order so now I know. <laughs> um, and the food looks really yummy. Okay, we just finished our lunch with my team. It was so nice. We really just got to catch up. I realized I haven't been in LA since 2019. I don't know, things just feel so different. Like my life is so different now compared to back then. I'm, obviously I'm a mom, but just who I am as a person, I just feel so different. Regardless, Kyle and I are vintage shopping right now. We're gonna walk down Melrose and just see what's up before we head back to the hotel and uh, probably take a nap, for myself at least. Because Kyla slept so good last night. I didn't sleep bad, I slept like really well, but it was just, woke up at 4 a.m. because I went to bed at 7.30. Honestly, the weather here feels so good. That sun is so strong, it's so nice. It's so comfortable. And look at this view with the palm trees and the tractor <laughs> and the construction. So Kyla, how's it feel? How does what feel? To be in the sunshine in LA. It feels amazing. You're happy to be here? Yeah. But most so. importantly, are you happy to be there with me? Yes. <laughs> what do you feel like doing? <laughs> like interrogating you. You're like, you feel like, I feel like a, you're a paparazzi right now. So Kyla, what's it like? Oh, careful. What's, what's it been like dating Justin Bieber? so awkward. I hate it. <laughs> I can see why celebrities don't like paparazzi. Yeah, talk to me. Oh, pretty little thing. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Cute. Okay, but we're sticking. Sorry, not open for the public. Okay. Okay. Cool. We're on Melrose right now. Do some shopping. What size is it? Too big. It's cute. Okay, first time vlogging on my camera this trip. I just had my phone today, but went to In-N-Out, you do a little mukbang, and I got two drinks. I got a strawberry lemonade because I've been told this is superior, and then I got a Neapolitan, which is the strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate shake mixed together. Mmm, very good. Okay, I'm gonna dig into the animal style fries because those harden up real fast. Animal style fries. Oh, yeah. And then I got cheeseburger. Mmm. Kyla's having wing stop and she's eating in her underwear, so we're not gonna <laughs> film her right now. <laughs> Wait, you really have to show it though. Show what it looks like. It's already getting hard. Mmm. Mm hmm. Yummy. Mm-hmm. 
you want to try? No, thank you. Oh yeah. You know, I don't love In-N-Out fries. I have to be honest. To me, they taste like cardboard. Not cardboard, just like not great. But mixed with all the stuff, it's good. I got onion and pickle. Okay, this is what it looks like. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What? I did a good bite? Mm-hmm. But also show it what it looks like. No. <laughs> I love mood bombs, so I already know mm. what they're gonna like. You know, this is my first time ever having an in and out burger with meat. Really? I used to always just get the cheeseburger. I got cheeseburger. Grilled cheese. Because when I used to go there, I was vegetarian. Oh, no way. Uh-huh. Am I doing this right, Kyla? Mm-hmm. And then take a bite. Like. Mmm. So we had a very busy day today. I've been up since 4 a.m. I think I said that earlier because we fell asleep at 7.30 last night. We got in. We had a terrible travel day to get here. I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> like, it was just, we were getting to the point, Kyla and I were like, we're going to get off this freaking plane and, and just leave. <laughs> we give up. Mm-hmm. It all worked out. We got in super late last night when we were supposed to get in at 2. We got in at night, ordered food, passed out so early, 7.30, no, 7, I think we were falling asleep. And I was mm -hmm. like, screw it, I'm just gonna sleep. Woke up at 4 a.m. Because basically that's like going to bed at 10 a.m., 10 p.m. back home and waking up at 7 a.m. So it was a really good night's sleep. It was just three hours behind. <laughs> I was laying in bed for like literally an hour. And I was like, I'm getting so hungry, but it's 5 a.m. What am I gonna do? Kyla's still sleeping. I had weird vivid dreams last night. <laughs> I ordered a bagel and whipped cream cheese <gasps> at like 5.30 in the morning. And then at six, I went to get it and then I woke Kyla up by going to get it. But I was like, eh, she can wake up. She's been asleep for almost 12 hours now. I don't feel bad. <laughs> and then at nine, we left to go down to do some like somewhat like shopping stuff. Then we went our my management for lunch. It was awesome. We had a really good lunch and we're gonna see them again later for dinner for the holiday party. Not dinner. This is dinner. I was at a bar. And that's the reason why we came to LA. We have um a few days after of we don't know yet. We're gonna do something for Kyla's birthday. We're gonna go to Nobu, which I will film that. We have lunch at the Beverly Hills Hotel planned. We did some vintage shopping today. Went to the Grove. Maybe I could do a haul of what I got. So I bought clothes. I didn't bring that many things with me because I wanted to buy stuff. And you're never going to guess where I went today to go shopping. We went to Brandy Melville. And I walked in and I was like, oh, my old stomping grounds. Because I worked at Brandy for years. And I like did social media for them and stuff. So it's how I got started realistically. Mm -hmm. So it was just cool when I walked in there. Got some cute basic tees. What was your favorite part of the day? My favorite part of the day was... Going to spend a full day with my sister. And <laughs> um, I just feel like we haven't done something like this in so long. Mm -hmm. Like I know we spent days together when we went to that Beller Travel thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. This was just fun. It was like we were traveling somewhere. We had funny stories. It's very nostalgic. Yeah. And I just feel like we're in such a good place. Like we're communicating better. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm just like really enjoying this time with you. Me too. And I feel like when I'm in a bad headspace, you really help me get out of it. And when you're in a bad headspace, I try my best to get you out of it. You really help a lot. And I feel like we're, we work well like that. Yeah. Like it's like, okay. Yeah. No, I'm jumping in. I could tell you're upset about something. Let's either figure it out or distract or, mm -hmm. you know, blah, blah, blah. And yeah. I don't know. I just feel like I'm really enjoying this. You always make me feel better. Oh. So, <laughs> Yesterday at the airport, Kyla was like, I'm PMSing so bad. Everyone's pissing me off. And then we had the flight day from hell. Yeah. On top yeah. of it. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like yesterday and today were kind of like a lot of go, go, go. And the next few days are going to be a lot more chill. Yeah. Like we have our holiday nice. party tonight and then. It's literally like we just have dinner reservations at six. So we literally just hang out enjoy the weather it's so nice everyone's like it's freezing in LA and I'm like it's literally 22 degrees 
Celsius. That's very nice weather for us. <laughs> I was sweating in the sun today walking. Although, I was like, I wish I had a t-shirt. At the end of lunch today, I was like freezing. Yeah, in the shade it's cold, I do have to say. But the sun is hot. Okay, hold on. I'm finished eating and we're about to, well, Kyla's getting ready right now, but I'm gonna show you my haul. So the first place was at the Grove and I just got a pair of sweatpants because I saw this color and I was like, oh my God, I'm obsessed. Forest green. And I like that they are wide leg at the bottom. I'm really into that lately with my platform Uggs. So I got these and they're so comfortable and so soft. And again, the color is just amazing. The next stop we did was Brandy because there's one at the Grove as well. And I got another pair of sweatpants, same kind of vibe, wide leg at the bottom. These are the fleece lined ones. So they're very, very comfortable. And they're quite long, which I like because I'm 5'7-ish, just under 5'8", but I have long legs. So sometimes pants will like be short on me, even if they're like average on other people. Then I got another pair of sweatpants that are like <laughs> very similar, but they're more like legging and they're flared. So I have a pair from Addicted, but these are like a light heather gray, which I really like. And they feel like the combination between a legging and a sweatpant, I don't know, these are just like very comfortable where the other ones are very legging. I don't know, I don't love just wearing them as pants sometimes. I they feel look like- so good on you too. I know, thank you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Well, good, you should know. That's why you got them. Okay, then I got this top, I, had to tr I tried it on. It was so flattering. Ooh, it's like off the shoulder, long sleeve. I tried it on with the sweatpants and I actually liked it, but anyways, I got a lot of gray stuff. <laughs> Their basics are just awesome. So basic gray tank top and basic gray scoop neck, long sleeve, very comfy. I feel like I am throwing it back to my old YouTube, excuse me, days where I used to do Brandy Melville hauls. <laughs> then we went thrifting at Reformation vintage and I got a pair of Levi's everything in the store was 30% off it was awesome so these Levi's were 30% off I love the color this with the long sleeve gray shirt is just gonna be so cute with my Uggs so I think I'm gonna wear that tomorrow and that's that that is my haul for today so here is the dress it looks so good the back is open Goes all the way down to the floor. I'm debating whether or not I should wear my heels or my boots. So you're not gonna see the boots underneath, but they're more comfortable than the heels. Kyla's dress, which she has to take off the tag for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get my It looks so hair. cute. Thanks. Let's see. I'm gonna see if I can get the, the bow clip right. Like this? Yeah, that's cute. Is it weird with the elastic? No, because I have the elastic. Okay. Can you take a picture of the back and show me? Good morning. It is the next day. And we are going to Air One. Our friends have to get the breakfast burrito. Yeah. So we're going to see. Little like spots in the oatmeal? Yeah. Thank you. I haven't had a burrito in forever. This is the vegetarian breakfast burrito. No? <laughs> I need like a minute. Mm. A little bit later in the day and we are currently in Hollywood. The weather is so nice, but we switched hotels from our other hotel in Culver City. We were staying there, like I said, because we had the holiday party, which was last night. It was so much fun. Checked into a hotel called Tommy and Kyla is on a mission to find sneakers. Sneakers or Uggs. Sneakers or Uggs. So we found a Foot Locker that's like 15 minute walk. We're gonna head there right now. Maybe grab a snack on the way, just enjoy the weather. This is the current, the current situation of where we are. It's actually been so fun so far. I know we've only really been here one full day, but I'm loving it. All the stars. Everything is so early 2000s, it's like insane. My teenage years. Screaming 
Britney Spears early 2000s. Oh my gosh, Kyle, look at that little sequence purse. <laughs> okay, you guys, we got back from our like little shopping day. We're just like walking around enjoying the weather and we're like, okay, we're gonna take a little nap. We're gonna hang out. I was FaceTiming my friends and we got so lazy. We did not want to get out of bed. I'm not even kidding for three and a half hours. We just laid in bed and talked. And so now, oh, and we had dinner reservations at Novu for 6 p.m. We canceled them because we just didn't feel like getting ready <laughs> and getting fancy and going to spend a lot of money. So we're gonna walk to 7-Eleven and get a few snacks and some water and just hang out the rest of the night and have a really chill evening. And then tomorrow we have some fun plans in Beverly Hills and maybe go do Runyon Canyon. Again, just have a really chill day. Like this has been such a fun, chill trip. We had our, our kind of crazy day yesterday. We had the holiday party and now it's just time to relax and enjoy. And yeah, it's been nice, but it's kind of funny how like I think I was saying this to Kyla like yesterday or something I'm like don't let us cancel because we're lazy but it's like no sometimes you just gotta listen to your body and if you're feeling lazy then you're feeling lazy and that's just the vibe right now so we're gonna go get some snacks and then go to bed early because I woke up at 3 30 this morning and I just told myself I'm not gonna adjust to LA time because I'm going back home on Monday and I wake up at 6 30 every day on Monday or sorry Sunday and I wake up at 6 30 every day anyways because of Arkham so 3 30 LA time is 6 30 my time whatever it is what it is good morning it is our last full day here in LA we are heading to the Beverly Hills Hotel for brunch at the Polo Lounge it's one of my favorite places to go and I wanted to bring my sister because they have really good food and it's just a vibe and honestly for content purposes around that area for Beverly Hills is so pretty for photos and videos. And I just wanna be able to get some content for Instagram and like outfit photos and TikToks and stuff. So it's a big reason as to why we decided to go there. And then after we really wanna do Runyon Canyon, I don't even have any like hiking clothes. So I don't know what I'm gonna wear. I really, really like Runyon Canyon. It's such a beautiful day. There's not a cloud in the sky. And then we're gonna have really nice sunset photo ops at this hotel, it's so beautiful. There's a rooftop pool. And so we're gonna do that and then we have dinner reservations. So today is definitely a busier day than yesterday. Yesterday we were literally so zoned out. We were so tired from the day, day before, but I'm excited for today, so. I don't actually think I'm gonna bring this camera because it's just so bulky and the screen is actually breaking off. Hopefully you guys don't mind. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> this vlog <laughs> I'm dead my life is a freaking disaster right now honestly I don't know how working parents do this because I have a lot of help and I'm struggling as you can see I'm back home got back last night um, adjusted pretty well to this time change because I never adjusted to LA time I literally would fall asleep at like 10 p.m. No, no, not even. I'd fall asleep at like 8 p.m. and wake up super early in the morning in LA because I was just used to East Coast. Hi. I missed your baby so much. We missed your babies. You get the baby. Oh no, the other one's coming now. Now I got two. Now I got two puppies. Hi, boo. My sister and I had a really good time in LA. We're gonna do a full recap on the podcast. So if you want to know exactly what we got up to and our funny stories and everything like that, definitely go listen. It'll be up probably this Friday coming out if you're watching this video this week. This most recent podcast will be out this coming Friday. Okay, I just realized my lip color come off. This is what I've been using. It is the um, shade pillow talk in two medium so like the darker one and I just really like the way it looks so I do a light outline like that and then I take the summer Fridays lip butter balm in brown sugar which has a bit of a, like a brownish tint it's so nice and then over and it's just moisturizing nice okay and that's the lip it is my mom's birthday today. My sister and I were trying to think of like what we wanted to get her because we <laughs> we were in LA and I was like, should we get her something in LA? But we only packed carry-on and already we were filled to the brim. I bought like three things for myself and I could barely fit it into my suitcase. So like, okay, we're not gonna get her anything in LA. Plus 
she's the kind of person that she doesn't need materialistic things like she obviously would really appreciate if we got her jewelry or whatever like that like she would be grateful but for her i really think her love language is acts of service and quality time she works so hard like my mom does the absolute most she is i don't even know how to express this like my whole life she's done everything for me she's always put herself aside and like put us first no matter what but not just for her kids like her family she really does that and now even for my child like she's just i just love her so much and she deserves the world so my sister and i were thinking like what could we do so we decided that we're going to have like a full-on daughter mother daughter day and we'll probably go for brunch and then go to a spa and just get massages and hang out get our nails done or something like that and then potentially go for dinner like just really spend the whole day together and spoil her that way and we can just chat and have fun and laugh the last time the three of us did anything just the three of us was when we went to spain years ago and that was such a fun trip but that was so long ago and we don't have to go on a trip to spend time together like that like I was thinking, why have we never done just the three of us? It's been so long. Like COVID aside, I know there's like 2020 and 2021, those years don't count, <laughs> but still. So we're gonna surprise her tonight. I'll bring you guys along and I'm so excited to just celebrate. We're gonna probably bake some cookies and bring those and have dinner and just hang out. So yeah, I'm excited. Behind the scenes, filming a little cooking yes. or i should say baking reel we're making some cookies and cream chocolate chip cookies pull it out <laughs> there throw it in boom good job so no touching because it's going to be moving now okay it's loud whoa <laughs> where's the butter it's getting mixed in with the sugar Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I made myself some ramen. What? Huge ramen for lunch. I don't know who gave that to you. We made our cookies, but for some reason, I don't know if anyone's ever used this recipe from Half Baked Harvest. It's our first time. The cookies like don't seem cooked enough. And we did almost double the time that it said. I don't know, Dan's thinking maybe we made them too big, so it's like harder for them to cook, but the taste is amazing. It's just a little undercooked. No mm. You're reading by oh, yourself, Arkham. That was good. It's spicy. No, I don't want to. You have to read it. <laughs> mm. Something about like simple ramen from the grocery store that's just just hits sometimes. You know, when you're cold, it's freezing cold outside. It just feels good. Serious goose. I'm curious to know what this your favorite is goose. food is so when you're in a rush. Not, Not like a fast food that you're picking up, but something that you you make at home that's like a you're in a rush, you need to make something quick. For me, it's like wraps. Or stuff like this. Okay, I forgot to show the finished product of these cookies. Look at this. Oh yeah. Mm. Happy birthday, mommy. Thank you very much. Wait, it's blurry. Happy birthday. Are you enjoying your time? Very much. So. Excuse me, I just burped. <laughs> this is for dinner. I'm having wine and cookie. Wine and cookie. Well, no, you had pasta. Got some pasta. This is the wine of tonight anyone is curious i know sometimes hello Arky. no <laughs> dad, what is it the dinner you have to mention that oh yeah dan made dinner well it was my dad's sauce yeah but dan cooked yeah he cooked it yes. now we're having cookies my sister's upstairs with my dad because he's still uh just recovering but yeah we finished that sauce oh yeah and then this meat over here is part of my mom's famous stuffing i know it sounds funny because people don't really understand when i say stuffing they think of like the breadcrumb stuffing this is like its own I thing it's a meat stuffing it's so good there's like what dates cool. and it's walnuts delicious. and stuff yeah yum it's sweet it's savory like it's delicious i also have a frozen oat bread stuffing oh yeah Oh, mm. doing it yeah, hi. 
We're gonna have that one day, maybe for breakfast. We'll have a brunch. We'll Ooh, with that. egg yeah. and like the bread stuffing. Ooh, that sounds good. Uh, we were just watching old home videos and I realized how much my dad was no, filming and no, I was like, I wanna have more memories like that, you know? Crazy to think that you were younger than me in those videos. So, yeah, I was uh, 30. 30. No, no, no. I was 30, Kyla was born, so I was. 31. I was 32, probably. Okay, so yeah, basically I just my 31 age. 31 after she was born, and the following year, Christmas, I was 32. Yeah, so a year younger than. 61? I was, yes. Don't expose. <laughs> I was 32 in those videos. I wow, uh, so beautiful. But I know, but like, even though I look, I was 32 and I look, you know, whatever, but like, I still look, you look younger. I don't find. Well, it's because of the decor and the, the style. It's crazy because mm, I was thinking in those videos, the what you were wearing, the way you had your hair and everything, I was like, that is my inspo for this year. It was like she had, okay, maybe I wouldn't do the shoulder pads because I already have really broad shoulders. So but that was the style back then. But it was like a red just dress shirt and she had high-waisted black dress pants, like kind of loose, very 80s. Her hair was blown out. She had these bangs and a clip with a bow. Oh my God, it looked so good. I was like, that is what I'm gonna wear this year. So you'll see on Christmas. And mama, the queen. Yeah. <laughs> you enjoyed the dinner? Very much so. How does it feel on your daughter's birthday? Technically, it's a celebration for you as well because you gave birth. That's right. <laughs> I, it feels wonderful. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> and when the family is together, it's a holiday. Mm -hmm. I agree. And I love you. And I love you. You missed it. What did I miss? I went to go open the soap on and it exploded, sprayed on me. It's like on the door. <laughs> Out, like street. <laughs> Did you see we're watching home videos? Um, that's me, that's Kyla, and that's my grandpa, Papa. And that's literally in my parents' living room that we were just eating dinner in. Like my mom is sitting right there. Did you have fun with no no? Yeah. What were you guys doing? Oh, Kyla. <laughs> just sitting here editing the video that you're watching right now if you've made it to this point then hello that last clip is my two aunts so liana with the turtleneck is my cousin sophia's mom and then my other auntie lena is my cousin christina who married uh, me and dan it's her mom and she's my aunt that passed away um wow 12 and a half years ago <sighs> that's crazy she was so young but yeah it's crazy watching back these videos of people that are no longer here and it feels like it feels like a lifetime ago that you saw them but it also feels like you just blinked and 10 years has gone by grief is so weird it it doesn't matter if it's been three weeks three months three years it just like will hit you out of nowhere and i feel like unless you've experienced the loss of someone that is close to you you don't fully understand it um obviously it's sad when you hear people passing like it's just a given but when it's when it's sudden and it's someone that you're close to it's like your brain can't grasp reality or time it just doesn't make sense like i remember when my aunt passed away well it was like my grandpa passed away in the fall and then my aunt passed away in the spring and that year like i don't have memories of that year 
because everything was a blur. I feel like I was moving through the motions of life without really being conscious of what I was doing or who I was talking to or it, it's so weird. And after years and years of therapy, there's certain memories that would pop up that my brain purposely held back. And I think it's a big reason as to why I suffered so bad with anxiety that I didn't understand where this anxiety was coming from because I had all these experiences that had happened to me that I kind of just pushed aside because my brain was like, I cannot deal with this. I cannot actually feel these feelings right now because it's way too intense. So to protect my peace, my brain just shut it off, but it didn't mean that the feelings weren't there. So I think that's why, like I said, I dealt with this anxiety for so long because it was like my brain hadn't caught up yet. And so through therapy, it's really helped me learn skills in order to access certain memories and then like deal with them and work through them. And obviously it's not an easy task, but it's just so weird, you know? And my grandpa to me was like an extension of my father. Like obviously, you know, my grandma lives with my parents and it's been since I'd say 2019 that she's been living with them. And my grandpa passed away in 2010. And so originally she was living with my cousin and then they got a dog and then my cousin eventually over a few years moved out. And then my grandma was alone with her dog, but she wasn't really alone because she had her dog there. And then once he passed away, she was like fully alone and she just didn't like it. And so my dad had actually offered for her to come live because my grandfather's biggest fear was leaving her alone. Like he was so sick, but he was like, I cannot leave you. Like I just cannot. They've been together since they were teenagers and it was his biggest fear. And so my dad promised him like, she will never be alone. Don't worry. Like I will take care of her. I, I've got this. And so my dad stuck to that promise. And I mean, literally lives with his mother-in-law, but she's like another mom to him. So it's just, we're so close and my grandparents always lived like down the street from us. They came to every swim meet, ballet recital, Christmas concert at school. I wrote projects on them for just like, I don't know, I was just, I loved them so much. I, I mean, I still love them, but when he passed my brain, like I had already lost my dad's father, like my no-no, but I was 11 and he lived in Italy, so I didn't know him that well. So I was sad, but I was more sad for my dad. And this, I was like 20 and unexpected and yeah i just shut it all off and then with my aunt we kind of knew it was coming but it's still like she was 58 and we always kind of just held out hope that things would turn around and she would get better and then didn't and yeah i i don't know watching back these videos we were all laughing and having so much fun you know hearing their voice again and i could like close my eyes and i could literally smell my grandfather's cologne like when I was listening to him, but then afterwards it's like, oh wait, these are just memories because they're actually not here. And then I just got really sad. But at the same time, I'm so grateful that my dad filmed as much as he did. He filmed so much of our lives because I have these these memories. And as, you know, I'm watching them with Arky and Arky's going, that's no, no, that's Baba, that's Mama. Where's Kyla? Kyla's the baby? Like he, it's so cool for him to watch these videos. And then, you know, I film so much. I don't upload, I don't upload all the things I film. I kind of compile certain things that I know I want to put on the internet, but I do film a lot more that I just keep private. But I think I want to start making little, not movies, but just organizing them in files somewhere like on a hard drive so that when he gets older, he can go back and watch them. Kind of like how I'm watching these videos. And, you know, it's one of my favorite things to do once in a while is just to go down memory lane. There's so many funny memories and things I forget about. There's like, gosh, there's dozens and dozens of tapes throughout my whole life until our camera died at when I was 13 years old, it, it broke and my dad never fixed it. But then I got a digital camera when I was 14 and a half. So there's like a year chunk of missing. And then it was all my memories through my vision <laughs> and my lens. And those are even funnier and we'll never see the light of day on the internet because they are way too embarrassing. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just really grateful that my dad did this and my dad's doing a lot better. Uh, I haven't really talked about it much. He hurt his back and he's just been kind of like waiting for it to get better. 
Um, he was just in a lot of pain, but now that that has kind of subsided, he's waiting for the muscles to relax so that he can just go figure out what the issue is. And yeah, I'm just really grateful that he's doing well and life is scary, man. Like when you're a kid, you think you get stressed over the dumbest things. Like you got the purple crayon and not the red crayon and like, then when you're in high school, you get stressed over people not liking you and, and if you have acne or if you're, you can't fit in and like all those are all valid feelings, but then, you know, you become an adult and all of a sudden it's like, then you have finances to worry about and your future and, and your life and then you become a parent and it's like then you're worried about your kid constantly and then all of a sudden you get to a point where people in your family start passing away and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I don't like this. Let's take a moment to just be grateful for the present time that we're in because one day where you are right now are, is going to be a memory and so you want to appreciate because i go back into these videos and i'm like oh man i really wish i appreciated that more and it's like well i can do that now because in 10 years this is going to be a memory that i'm thinking back to like when i was in my early 30s and i had my three-year-old boy and I, it was almost christmas and i was just living my life i went to scotland and i went to la and it's just i want to really appreciate it so this is your reminder if you haven't been reminded yet to really appreciate the moment that you're in no matter what you're going through no matter the struggle you can always find light in the dark and yeah this was kind of a sad end to the video but a, um i guess a realistic one of just how i'm feeling and hopefully this can help anyone else who's feel who feels a similar way feel understood because a lot of my friends and even dan like they haven't experienced loss of someone really close to them so i don't really have many people to talk to about this but that's why therapy is great right <laughs> anyways um i'm gonna get going because i have a long day of work and meetings and it's just gonna be boring but i will see you guys all in the next vlog bye